Hey there, welcome back to fishing. We're still down here in the garage at the workbench and we're still doing some custom painting crankbaits and some cold water patterns. So we still got a rock crawler, another rock crawler here, knockoff blank. It's painted up, ready to go. So today we're gonna to do a shad colored bait that I call hot shad. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, give it a thumbs up. If y'all pick something up, more importantly, go down there and hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers and anybody that subscribes, it greatly helps this channel out. So anyways, we're ready. Let's go paint. Yeah, all right, we're ready to start crankbait number two here. And this is gonna be hot shad. And this is one I kind of come up with and this is a real easy pattern for you guys to fit to paint. So what we're gonna start out with is this Createx pearlized silver so we're going to start with that and we're going to coat the whole whole crankbait with it And with these pearls, they're kind of thin, so you got to build them up too. So it takes several coats on that. So we'll just keep going here. All right, we're going to heat set that, and then we'll be right back. All right, here we go. Let's do coat number two. I think we're out of paint, but I think we're pretty good with that. So we'll heat set that and we'll be ready for step number two. Y'all hang on. All right, here we are. We've got our crankbait ready to put some scales on it. And we're going to do that. We've put this, this scale mesh on here. And we're going to use this Createx transparent medium gray. Now we've turned the pressure down on this. And we did put about 10 drops of reducer and 10 drops of paint in the brush. So, and all we're going to do is the shoulders on this. So here we go. And we'll come up on the back a little bit too. All right, there's that side. Let's flip it over here and do this side here. And there we go. I think we've got our scales on there. We're going to heat set this and then we'll take this off. So we'll be right back. All right, here we go. We're gonna take these off. Let's see what we got. Remember to be careful when you're taking these off because you don't wanna scratch your paint. There we go. We got some scales on that back, but we're not done yet. Oh, uh, we still got that medium gray in the brush. So we're going to darken the head up and then just do a line down the back here. But we're going to turn the pressure up just a little bit. All right, before we do that, we just turn the pressure up on the brush.
I feel like my brush has got a clog in it. We'll put this thing on this thing here to do this. So that I get a straight line. There we go. That seems better. Let's move the camera here. There we go. I think we've got the back and the scales on it. So we'll heat set that and we'll be back after we get that. All right, folks, here we got our, now this is really the base of just about any shad pattern you got out there. You could take this right here and fish it and it really resembles Bagley's gray ghost pattern back the one that they used to make. And this right here, this will catch fish, but we're going to make it into hot shad. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this Createx fluorescent orange here, and we're going to put some on the throat. So here we go. And that's all we got right there. It's just a little bit orange on that throat. But we're not done making it into hot shad yet. So y'all hang on, we're gonna heat set that and we got one more color to put on it to make it hot shad. So we'll be right back. All right, here we go. One of the last colors is this fluorescent yellow Createx. And this is gonna help this is what makes this hot shad. So if you've ever seen a thread fin shad or even a lot of shiners, they all have, well, a lot of them have a yellow tail. And this right here, I think brings this plug to life. And it doesn't take a whole lot of it, but you have to build it up since it's a fluorescent color. You can see it on there. just want to take your time doing this right there it is that's all we're going to do and that just that little bit of yellow on that will make this crankbait really pop and that's what makes it hot shad so we're going to heat set that and we're going to come back and we're going to put a shad dot on it and then we'll be done with this one well we'll do eyes too but hang on all right our one of our we're about to the end of this one but we need to put a shad dot on it so we're going to use this createx transparent black for that so we've got it loaded up and to do that all i've done is take some painter's tape double it up just punch used a hole punch to punch a hole in it so here we go we're going to try to line this thing up and get that sucker on there there we go we got us a shad dot right there Let's flip it over. There we go. Got shad dots on there. 
They look like they're in about the same size. So we'll heat set those, come back and do eyes. Y'all hang on. Before we do that, since we got that black in there, we're gonna darken these eyes up just a little bit more. There we go, let's heat set this. All right, we're ready to do our eyes here, but we're not gonna make them quite as big as we did the last time. We're just gonna barely dip that Q-tip in and make a small dot like that, and then we're gonna come back and make that red. So we're gonna do that on both sides. Just like that. Hang off of that, set that aside. Now we're gonna heat set that and then we'll be right back. All right, so we've got our red Q-tip here. We're just gonna dip that down in the paint. And dip that again. Just get enough paint on that. Just like that. Now we got a red pupil. So we'll get down into a point there. Like that right there. Now our crankbait's got some beady little red eyes. How about that? So all we're ready to do now is put clear on it, put some hooks on it, and ready to go fishing. So when we get it cleared up, we'll be back and we'll show you what this thing looks like. Y'all hang tight till that gets done. It might be a day or two, but y'all hang on there. We're out. Well, here we are. We got a hot shad done. It's cleared up. It's ready to go. It just needs some hooks on it. But let's get y'all a better look at this thing. So here it is. Hot shad. Y'all can see it there. It looks pretty good. Again, this is a pattern y'all can take and do with it what you want to. Do a lot of different things. Change it up. Make it your own. But let me know what y'all think about the name Hot Shad down there. I don't think anybody else is using that. But anyways, if y'all like this kind of stuff, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you pick something up. Hit that subscribe button. I'm Rodney with E-Fishing. We'll uh, be back with uh, Bone Mustard when it gets done. We're out.